guys, what's up? It's Amy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can see, I'm a bit worse for wear. I haven't got any makeup on, as you can see. And I also look a bit like a counterfeit unicorn with my hair like this. But me and Kirsten are going on a date night, so I thought it'd be fun to take you along with me to get ready for it. So let's go. The first step in order to get ready for this date night is obviously to have a shower. I don't know if you can tell, my hair is absolutely disgusting. It's greasy and gross. So when you see me next, I will be sparkly and clean and a little bit more presentable. So I will see you in three, two, one. Okay, I look no more presentable than when I left you last, but I am showered and cleaned. So next is to find an outfit. Okay, so those of you that have seen my 24 hours in my closet video, you will recognise this closet. Um, something for date night. I was thinking, I was thinking maybe this one, because this one's actually quite cute and it's actually really warm today, so that'd be perfect. It is a bit creased, but I don't think she'll mind. And it's actually really comfy, so I'm thinking maybe that one. Or a top like this with some jeans as well. I think that'd be really cute. I just don't know what else to go for. I'm a bit unprepared. This one is obviously a bit too formal. Um, I don't really want to go for this one. Unless I do this, which is the top that I've shown you before, but with this dress kind of thing with some tights. Okay, so now we've picked out the outfit, it is time for makeup, which I'm very excited about because my skin is reacting really badly to the face masks at the minute. Um, is really breaking me out so a bit of makeup does no harm I do have this mirror here so if i'm looking down it's just because i'm looking into this mirror and if you've been watching me for a while with my 30 second makeup challenges and stuff that i've done the l'oreal infallible foundation which i still really use because i love it and i am in the shade porcelain which really depresses me that's fine so i'm going to go ahead and apply that me and Kristen, we're going on a date night we're not going out we're actually staying in and cooking a three course meal um we have only done this once actually since we've moved in like a proper date night date night in but i really enjoy them and i think she does as well <laughs> i assume so she hasn't said otherwise for those that are interested as well i haven't actually explained how we met because Preston is scottish and i'm english and it's quite far away like i'm from the southwest she's from the northeast so it's literally polar opposites to the country and we actually met on Twitter, which still is absolutely crazy to me. I've got some foundation on the towel and she's gonna kill me. Through whether she likes to admit it or not, we actually met through Justin Bieber. Oh. Now, it's not as exciting as it sounds. Basically, I was a huge, one of those really obsessed fans of Justin Bieber. And don't get me wrong, I still love him to this day, but obviously I'm not gonna jump up and down. I think that would be a bit weird at the grand old age of 25. I used to really, really love him. Person was the opposite way. She can't stand him she still she respects him a bit more now i'm going to take this off because it's hurting me Oof. she respects him a bit more now but she's not a fan by any means so i had a fan account for justin she had a hate account for justin and she actually had quite a big following she had about twenty five thousand um followers which is a lot like you can't grumble at that it was quite well known oh hello miss magpie how's your family sorry i genuinely thought she was a man that's how we met and then we just kept talking. We just kept talking. I still thought that she was a guy like 100% completely. That's how we met. We owe everything to Justin Bieber, whether she likes it or not. If you want a more in-depth story, we can do a story time on that. And she can put her point of view across because that's how I see things. But I'm sure she has a different opinion. So as you can see, I've already done my foundation and my infallible concealer with L'Oreal. I also use the loose powder with number seven. I find them really good as well. So if you also want a coming out story, that is something that I can share with you because that is quite the story and it makes for a very interesting one so if you want to hear it please let me know in the comments below and i will share that with you guys if not then i completely understand so i'm moving on with the blush this is by collection and it's called the soft glow blusher i'm just gonna lightly apply that one um i'm trying to keep the look quite natural today just because kirsten says that she likes me better with no makeup on which i don't 100 percent believe because you saw me without makeup on and it's not pretty tight, so I will keep it natural. Okay, so that's the blush done. We are going to move on to mascara, and once again, I'm buying all of the cheap products that are crap. This has got to be the worst mascara that I've ever used, and it's called Extreme Coloured Lightning Mascara, and again, it's by Collection. So maybe mean collection just aren't meant to be. But I think this was about $6.99, which again is really cheap for a mascara, so I mean, you get what you pay for i guess but the slightest bit of 
water will trickle this mascara down. It's the only one that I've got, so it's the one that we're gonna use. Um, but I will be a mess in like three hours because it just melts off my face, this one. See, look, already, oh, sorry, two in your face. Uh, already, I haven't done anything. So I don't recommend this one in the slightest. That's my makeup done, that's my makeup routine. I do look slightly better than when you first saw me in this video. I'm going to go ahead and dry my hair, style it, and then we can go ahead and get dressed ready for the finished look. So this is what it looks like with the tights on. I'm not feeling overly confident in it. So I am gonna change and we'll figure something out. Okay, I'm back and this one I actually quite like. So I've just got a plain black dress and the good thing about black that we all know is that it's slimming. I've paired it also with this flowery kimono. I've had this one for years. I'm pretty sure I got it from Primark um, and the dress is also from Primark. So, and the tights actually are also from Primark. So I'm rocking the Primark look today. Um, Kirsten is still at work, so I'm actually going to, she can hear me, so I'm gonna be quiet. I'm actually going to decorate this table, which I know is a bit of a mess right now, but by the end, it is going to look so good and I'm very excited. So yeah, I've been looking forward to this date night all week and it's finally here. So I finished off my hair, decorate the table, and I'll show you guys the finished look. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear, but Kirsten is actually in the shower right now. And I had to abandon my original idea for the table because I couldn't find the tablecloth anywhere because we are actual trash. So I use a blanket, basically. And there I have put the most beautiful flowers that I've ever been given. Kirsten actually sent me flowers to the flat that we live in with a card that says, happy date night and a box of chocolates so i feel very lucky right now so i'm not actually going to be able to film any of it because Karen's not keen but basically for starters we're having camembert and stuffed mushrooms for main we just wanted something simple so we're having pizza and garlic bread and then for dessert we got some really posh mousses that we haven't tried before so we're going to try some of that so that is our date night i will show you the table now Thank you so much for getting ready with me. I didn't really do anything with my hair. I've got a playlist that I made that we're gonna have in the background. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. I'm sorry that I can't film any of it, but if Kirsten's not comfortable with it, then obviously I'm not gonna film it. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Please let me know what you want me to do in my video. Mm, baby, this world that drives me crazy. I've been running around the world.